Welcome everyone to the Nova Podcast, the podcast where we talk about fashion, lifestyle, and relationships. And today I just want to remind us to be ashamed of our old self. There is no telling what we can do when we actually get to enjoy who we currently are. So I want to remind us that our current self is currently going to be our best self. Only if we actually have a plan, only if we actually do the work, and only if we actually have a system in which we can actually attack daily. A system that I use daily to actually keep myself organized is the fact that I actually have an organizer. So I actually write my deeds and actually write the things that I want to accomplish daily and I have tasks. And I don't do anything important before 10 a.m. I don't take meetings and I don't take calls because I want to be in doom and I want to be meditated to the fact that my life is going to get better today if I actually attack my objectives. So I try not to plan and make important decisions before 10 a.m. every day and I want to remind us that we should not be ashamed of our old self. Life is all about self-improvement. We can't get to anywhere we want to be without actually shedding our old skin and our old self. So this is me going to the gym every day, working out, getting getting my muscles up in order for me to actually get those blood pumping and get those endorphins running and telling myself that I'm actually going to get better because life is all about our constant ability to improve and I want to remind us that we can actually get better by actually planning our days plan your days don't just wake up and whistle through things everybody has a dedicated time in which things are going to actually manifest for them but yours can actually be expedited if you actually find a way to actually do what stay consistent and actually believe in your system so the system in which I have daily is the fact that I try to work out twice a day I try to to actually work on my strength and mobility during the morning and during the evening when I have time for physical activities I try to go play pickup basketball games and give myself an opportunity to burn cardio and actually exercise and I prefer that to actually running in the neighborhood because I actually enjoy being a person that actually gets to do what they love instead of doing something instead of what I actually love. So I want to remind us that this is what gives us the opportunity to believe in our stride. And I want to remind yourself that this is how you're going to get to dominate life and this is how you're going to get to dominate your fitness goals. I want us to actually have a plan. I want to shed 15 pounds. I want to add 10 more pounds of muscle. I want to be my fit, strong self and I want my next season to be my best season. I saw Damian Lillard put up an article and he put up a post that actually showed the same thing. He said he wants his next season to be his best season. So you know what he's doing? He's out there running in the beach. You know what he's doing? He's out there taking boxing classes and actually working on his technique. You know what he's doing? He's actually working on his cardio and his fitness because he needs the hand-eye coordination as a shooting tactician that he is and as a passing tactician that he is he needs the opportunity to actually improve in his skills so this is Damian Lillard taking the incentive to actually get better every day and during the summer because he's once he wants his next season to be his best season and I want you to actually plan your next day to be your best day because life is all about progression and we can never ever lose if we actually ever get better so I want us to remind ourselves that this is how we actually going to get better so do not get mad at your old self be glad that you're shedding your old self I was somebody who didn't actually fancy physical fitness because I love being lanky and skinny but you know what happened I kept getting pushed around and people kept booing what they kept taking advantage of me on the basketball court because of my lack of size so you know what I did I bulked up and I got stronger and now I'm the one inflicting the pain I'm the one coming in the pain with all the muscles and I'm the one giving everybody the heat. So I want to remind us that this is what gives us the opportunity in order for us to actually get better by actually shedding our old skin. Do not actually touch that dial. Like, comment, and subscribe. This is the Tap to Shop podcast. The podcast that's going to help you with your self-improvement. The lifestyle that's going to give you the life that you actually want to live is going to come from the antidotes and the things that I share in this content. So I want you not to touch that dial and I want you to actually recommend this podcast to your friend because where could you get self-improvement? Where could you actually give yourself an opportunity to improve your life consistently and daily? And I want you to remember that your plan actually has to have perspective so inside your plan you actually have to have a means of you actually getting there it's one thing to hope dream and wish you want to get here and you're here in between is where you actually have to get past you actually have to get past the naysayers you actually have to get past the lack of support you actually have to get past all those things that you do not want to talk about but actually when you've actually crossed over you get to see the nuance and the enjoyment that comes from actually living in your purpose you get to actually enjoy life and you get to actually get better at things that you like so I want to remind us that
that life is all about working on ourselves. So I do not want us to actually regret shedding our old skin. Because a lot of people fear a many men of progress as they see it as what? A setback. Oh, why do I have to get better? Why do I have to study this course? Why do I have to improve on my social skills? Why do I have to talk better in order for me to actually get better in life? But I want to remind us that we actually have to get out of the way of ourselves. Taking the technique of actually doing one thing, which is planning and organizing. There's no way anxiety is going to come to us. There's no way depression is going to come to us. And there's no way anything is going to affect us if we actually give ourselves an opportunity to get better every day. So I want to remind us that our life is going to encompass us actually doing the deed and actually enjoying the process and letting the process trust itself while you trust in your work. So this is not me going to check the scale every day to see if I've added any pounds. This is me knowing that eventually it would happen at its due time. I just need to stay focused in order for me to make this a lifestyle. Because if I make physical fitness my lifestyle, you don't have to tell me to go to the gym. I'm ready to go to the gym in order to live a physical life of abundance. And this is what gives me the opportunity to actually tie it to a sport in which I care about. So I can coach basketball, I can play basketball, I can talk basketball, I can be around basketball because guess what? I love basketball and I've made that my life. So I wanted to remind us that this is what gives us the opportunity in order for us to actually do what? Improve our horizons and actually get better in life. So I want you to go out there and attack your goals and attack your dreams and do not get mad at shedding your old skin. You're becoming a new person and this is going to take what? All that is required, all that you need, all that you believe in, and all that you need to be is going to come to what? To your planning and your organization. So this podcast was about us learning how to plan and organize our life in order for us to attack our daily plans and objective. This is the like comment and subscribe podcast and I want you to know that as soon as you like comment and subscribe to this podcast you're actually tapping to shop so I do not want you to touch that dial and go to edicon.com shop in order for you to actually go and get the best silhouettes in which you need do not touch that dial and thank you for listening to the Nova podcast do not forget to hit that notification bell like comment and subscribe peace